Good morning, happy Monday. We are up bright and early and out. We are here a week after the fact for Jake's follow-up on his wisdom teeth. And um, they're comparing gift shops because now I am an expert on hospital gift shops. This is the one behind me. And uh, I would have to say the one where Shane stayed was a little bit nicer. Good morning, how are you doing? Good. Ah, Kansas fan, huh? You bet, go Jayhawks. Anyway, Michael is parking the car because this morning it's even colder than yesterday. I know I shouldn't complain, 25 degrees, but for Texan, that's a huge drop for Texas, anyway. Alrighty, let's uh, hope Jake's mending up well. Yeah, it's good stuff, but it's definitely good stuff. All right, Jake, you got everything? Yep. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank have you. A great day. You too. Merry Christmas. Merry you Christmas. Too. If this weather keeps up, we're gonna have a white Christmas. All right, Jake, you got the rope? Yeah. Uh, that's, awesome. that's a workout, and he's gonna love that. You think Mimi's gonna let him keep it? I don't know. She does keep toys. She does. He's got a candidate here, man. He's got Probot. And he's got the biggest rope toy I've ever seen in my life. This dog is so spoiled. Can you imagine what we're gonna be like when we finally have grandchildren? Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Holy cow. Do we spoil these pups? We do. We do. Like a, mm -hmm. He's like a king or a prince. Ugh. Wrigley's like a king. <laughs> Mimi's, Mimi's the queen. queen. Where do we fall into this? Need a, we need to get a fourth princess. No, we're good. No. We're good. No more dogs, please. <laughs> yeah, female one. No, uh, no, I like my boys. I wouldn't mind getting No, I'm not going like, to even like say it out loud. Maybe a male one. Alrighty, let's go check on our babies. We Maybe get arms. him a complimentary uh, German short-haired pointer. Let's see if he Seriously? goes for that Seriously, can rope. we just get through the puppy stage before we start talking about right, another Jake, one? Jake, a German short-haired just to compliment him? Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> Bumps. As predicted, Mimi has claimed the rope. Stretch it out, dude. Even Wrigley seems a little interested, and he's not a toy guy. Rowdy, where are you going to take that? He's just He's pulling up the It's like dental strings. floss. Yeah. That'll work. That thing is so big. Rowdy, it's bigger than you. Don't teach him to tug though. He can tug with that. Mimi, but not with us. Why? It's a dominance thing. Okay. Only if you let him win. No. no. <laughs> He's always gonna win. He's strong. Uh, not as strong as us yet, but just wait. Give him fifty more pounds. Yes, you're cute. Keep eating it. Or Rubbing it with your face? Do we even know what you're doing? All the dogs are like, what is this? It's so big that everyone can get on the rope and nobody has to fight over it. Oh my gosh, I've never seen Wrigley care. He's headbutting it. Well, whatever works. And, uh, he's actually chewing on a toy. That is uh, a first. Wrigley is not a toy guy. He doesn't play with toys. Look how funny this is. They're on plays with people's two emotions. on one end. And Rowdy's like, well, this well, end looks more interesting because you're on that side. Rowdy, go on the other end. There's room for everybody. Okay, Wrigley, you're smarter than him. Go to that side. Thank you. At least one of you has some sense. This is awesome. How long do you think this playtime? This nice, quiet, parallel play. It's like back in um, graduate school studying preschoolers playing side by side without fighting. <clears throat> I was going to say how long before he figures out he can, like, sling it around and destroy things when he gets bigger. Oh, well, he's got to get bigger. So I give it a month. He's, he's, yeah. <laughs> he's trying to shred it. Thank goodness it's proven Already impossible. Shredded. Yeah. And that's it for Wrigley. Okay, playtime's over. What? Well, this will be fun. I'm going to quickly film a video while he's chewing on the giant rope. Crud. That was that. Now go back. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go set up. Okay. Hi. Hi. This is, these are people who are not used to being in a vlog. This is Christy. She's Hi. a subscriber, and now she's a friend and a fellow. Oh my God! There's more. And I brought goodies. <gasps> for not the for you, Rowdy. So these are kind of funny. I love these Tupperware things. Um, these are my Oreo cookie balls. <gasps> and 
I Maybe I should them. stop filming because I don't want the family to know about these. Rowdy, you don't have to go outside. We know for a fact because you just peed on the floor. Oh my god. No, he's not using that to signal. He's yeah, using that. To play. Rowdy, come here. Come here, Rowdy. Too rowdy. Too yeah, rowdy. we maybe should not have named him that. <laughs> the breeder, when we first told her what we were going to name him, she's like, are you sure you want to do that? That could be a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> yeah. It's a cute name. It's perfect. These. So these, I, they're kind of a Pinterest fail. I no. Mean, snowmen, and they kind of look kind of goofy, but. No, I think there's, oh my God. So, what's but they're them? really good. They're Oreo cookies, like crushed up. Oh And my mixed with cream cheese. Gosh. So <gasps> Shane probably can't have these. Who, who, he doesn't need to know about these. We don't even need to, even if he could eat them, I don't think I would tell him. Yeah. Oh my, uh, these are going to just, I'm going to put these in So my, yeah, they need to go in the fridge, because if not. Oh, they do? They're kind of like mushy. I'm going to have to hide. Yeah. I, where am I going to hide these? So you think I'm fridge. kidding, but like I'm not sure. Anymore. Really? So I'm like my own cafe. I was gonna say like I'm gonna hide these so in my good. desk drawer, but darn it, they have to go in yeah, the fridge. They have to go in the fridge or the freezer. Michael, look away. One of the two. Look away. <laughs> I'd say I put them in the vegetable drawer, but everyone in the family eats vegetables except me. Oh. See, nobody goes in my vegetable drawer. Ever. My vegetable drawer. There's no room. It's overflowing. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, it's cold outside. Oh. I can hide these outside <laughs> somewhere this for like bad. a day. <laughs> we do have an outdoor fridge, like out by the pool. Yeah. No, this is sick. This is bad. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> you can give them one. So yeah, and oh this my, is this just is extra so of the Christmas extra crack. crack. And then I brought you the rest of the gluten-free. Oh my gosh! Where did you find those? At H E B. In the so gluten-free aisle. Like our little H E B. Yeah, we had them. So yeah, and we have tons of other pretzels. So I figured I'd give Shane. Oh my gosh, Shane is spoiled. The gluten-free ones. Thank you. So That's so nice. You're welcome. Oh, wait, wait, look at this. And yeah, this, this is the, the Christmas, Christmas crack. crack. This is just what you do. You make Christmas goodies and spread, the, spread them. <laughs> yes. Out. Just so nice. I didn't get to do it last year because I had my broken foot. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. See, this so Hanukkah, this year, we don't like, do any crazy. of this. Front. This is not a Hanukkah thing. Really? No. And then these I decorated like. Oh, wait. Some of them are these. like blue, but they came out kind of funky. We don't care. And then the, I only had green sprinkles. We so. don't do anything fun. I mean, I guess we could. Oh, they're stuck to the foil. Ooh. So those are for Shane. Is going to care? No. He's a pretzel. Great. They're kind of ugly, but they no, taste good. No, they're so cute. <laughs> Yum. And these are like Reagan colors too. Yeah, I, know it's I figured it's Reagan, but it's also yeah. Reagan. Oh my yeah. god, that is so. How long does it? How, how long do you bake? Like you must just be baking. Just a little bit every day. Oh my god, it's fun. I love it. I love to decorate stuff. I love it. <laughs> I Those are not interesting. Those are the coolest <laughs> things. My daughters ever. were laughing so because there were some that came out so. Ugly. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go visit. Excuse me. <laughs> what I should be doing is editing the video that's supposed to go up tomorrow. It's Shane's gift guide for teen boys minus Shane himself. Just Shane texting me his personal shopping list that he wants me to go out and buy for him, which gives me a huge chuckle. Instead. I'm watching Ruth. This is probably not the best where she's going to be very displeased with this. Let me get a better frame to freeze her on. Bless him. You're right Hang on. He's just... Whoop. Sorry, Ruth. I just can't freeze it fast enough. Anyway, that's Ruth Crilly. I've been watching her since she started her channel. And many of you know her as Model Recommends. She's pregnant with baby number two. She still has baby number one. Angelica's only a year old. And she was going to do Vlogmas. <laughs> And she has uploaded her one and only Vlogmas, one, one Vlogmas vlog video for the entire Vlogmas, 25, 24 days. So funny. Anyway, yes. So if tomorrow's video doesn't go up, it's because I was watching that. I just think her, she's so funny. I love her sense of humor. And that's what I'm doing. And then I'll probably go see if um, Philip DeFranco uploaded his video this afternoon. And then maybe I will get around to actually... Editing my own video. Jake has a friend over and I'm kind of trying to just stay out of the way. They're playing with the dog in the family room. That's the excuse I'm going to go with. I'm sticking with it. All right. Dinner is about to be served. Here is... This doesn't look like much. This is uh, chicken and dumplings in there. And uh, those are not... That's not Rowdy here, by the way. Those are the Westies. They're mad because they're in their crate. Um, and Rowdy is not... Anyway, I made it according to the recipe... Exactly, except I added a bag of baby carrots and I added about a tablespoon of cornstarch at the very end mixed with about three tablespoons of cold water just because I like my broth like very, see how that's thick? I like it really thick. And yes, I ended up using non-paleo friendly, totally gluten, regular biscuits. Um, Shane can pick them out. 
or he can cheat a little bit. He's allowed to have like one or two cheat days or cheat meals, not all day, a week. So that is that. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It doesn't really look great on camera. It looks like a big bowl of nothing, but it's so good. And it's great on a cold, whoops. It's great on a, I'm messing with my crock pot. There it is, warm setting. It's great on a cold day like today. So I'm gonna serve this up, get the Westies out of their cage. because we're doing them in shifts. And uh, I'm gonna go enjoy some dinner. Yum, I've been waiting for this for months. We moved the dog bed here so that Rowdy would wanna hang out with me in the kitchen. And look who claimed it. My little prince, my little man. <laughs> Curled up like a little sweet angel. So sweet. Where's Rowdy? With my other little sweet prince. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can turn the lights. Oh, what's up? You're Rowdy, wrong. you're in the wrong size bed, Goldilocks. You <laughs> we need to get a bigger bed for this side. It's a sweet scene. We get the roaring fire. We need the right size bed here. They're so funny. All right, chicken and dumplings was a success. It's so good. And there's quite a lot left over, I will say. Four chicken breasts. You would think one breast for everybody. And then they'd be gone. But it's a really filling when you add that cornstarch. It's just really, okay, do we not know how to close cabinets in this house? It's really thickens the broth and um, it's really, really filling. So definitely recommend this. Cannot, it's just, oh, it's so good. You can throw in all kinds of extra things, carrots, peas, potatoes, what have you. It's such a great recipe. Tiffany, thank you. My family thanks you. So, so good. Now, the fun part, clean up. Guess what, guys? We did it! Thank you! Michael's making fun of me. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you. I know not everybody does social media, that YouTube is enough. I'm trying to get into some lighting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna have more fun together. Just more time, more opportunities for us to hang out. So for those of you that have already been along for the ride for quite a long time, thank you so very much because you all got me up to 19,900 and some odd and to those of you that gave me the final push over to 20,000 thank you so much now let's just see how much bigger this number can get yes i'm so excited yay why i don't know but thank you i like big round numbers yay i know it's a tiny little number compared to so many on instagram but it's my tiny little number and it's all of you together with me so thank you thank you thank you thank you yay you know what I'm gonna end it on a high note. This is probably a very short vlog, but thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm gonna say goodnight. It's almost nine o'clock, and it's been an awesome day. So thank you, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Mwah.